So you put yours in your teeth. Yeah. And I put mine in my, uh, this is a sea moss and bladder rack tincture. What this is, let it soak in a 80 proof alcohol for six weeks. And see, when you boil it in the tea, it get all the minerals out, but the alcohol is just pours. Just pours. Everything well, actually, got. What I do is I do my tea first, like every morning. Uh -huh. I would do my, I warm my tea back up on the stove, and then I get two tablespoons of the sea moss and add it to my tea that I'm gonna drink. Okay. Yeah. yeah you let these sit in uh, alcohol, 80 proof vodka for six weeks. Yeah. And after that, drain it, and you just take two dropfuls under your tongue, and it goes straight to your bloodstream. Oh, yeah? Yep, so you just get it. So you know I'm about to cop one of those today, You get right? one of those for sale, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hey, man, welcome to the show. This is uh, episode, another episode of 38114 Show. Got a special guest in the house tonight, uh, well, today. Go by the name of Mo, Mo Diggity? Mo Diggs. Mo Diggs. Mo Diggs from the Shot Town. Born and bred. How long you been here in Memphis, man? Uh, I got out the military in 2000, and I've been here since then. Okay, 2000? Yeah. What bring you here to Memphis, Tennessee from Chicago, Illinois? Actually, it was my brother, man. My eldest brother, he was in Desert Storm. Uh -huh. and he got stationed out here when Millington was a real base. Yeah. And uh, I was in Seattle, Washington, stationed out there after my second tour. And he was like, man, it's been too long since all of us been together in the same city. Yeah. And I'm like, man, Memphis, what is it to do in Memphis? Uh, back in 2000, <laughs> man. <laughs> man. <laughs> so, uh... I was like, man, fuck it. I had a job. I was going to work for Lucent Technology, doing mm -hmm. uh, contact work. Mm -hmm. Moved out here. Him, one of his partners hooked me up with a job, and uh, it, it wasn't for me. Okay. It wasn't for me. Yeah. So you just, uh, what you, uh, so in Chicago, what you were doing in Chicago, Illinois? You know, that's my hometown, too. Well, you know, born and bred, Southside, Wild Wild Hundreds, peace up to all my okay. city. Okay. Cook people. County, Cook County Hospital. Cook County, yeah. Cook County Hospital, <laughs> 82. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but uh, playing football, man, and uh, my guys back at the crib. Mm -hmm. Simeon, much love. Yeah, Simeon. Simeon High School. Oh, yeah. My father went to that school. Probably one of the best high schools oh, for real? in the city of Chicago, okay. academically and athletically. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Came out in 92, and uh, I still keep in touch with a lot of my people. One of my guys, actually, he does uh, Wind Down Wednesdays every first and third Wednesday. Where? His name is, uh, DJ Q Lee, Mr. DJ Q Lee. Okay. He does wind down Wednesdays every first and third Wednesday. Uh, man, then my man Shango Cook, of course. You know he do. Shango. Our house to Mr. South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Shango? Shango Cook, my man. Eighty-eight point five, right? Legitimate forty-four point four in the forty back right. in the day. I don't know if he can still oh, for do real? it. Now. Oh yeah. Don't let him fool you. Oh, he was a bad football he player. Was, huh? He was a beast. He mm -hmm. was a cold beast. He looked like he could run. <laughs> <laughs> So here, yeah. what Memphis? How you like it? Like it here in Memphis so far? Uh, I say it's tolerable. It's tolerable. I so you've been here since two thousand. Which so you you couldn't work that damn job, huh? No. I had a lot of jobs too. No. I can well like man, I'll tell you what, shit. FedEx grounds is probably one of the worst jobs I've ever had. Okay, I'm right with you. I think everybody in Memphis has worked at FedEx <laughs> ground before. <laughs> yeah, that's probably one of the worst jobs I've ever had, and and because of your size. Has to be thinking that you super strong. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. They wait. think you supposed to lift the heaviest box. Hey, big man. <laughs> big man, get this uh 200 pound box. You say, hey, I, hey, I hey. know, right? So I went to work one night, man. I was already tired because I was doing Pinkerton security and working at FedEx Grounds at the same time. Uh huh. Dude, was like he, like yeah, we're gonna send you down. I said 21. I said damn, that's where they have the heaviest stuff at. Right. So it was me and my guy. He played a uh, amateur football. Mm -hmm. We went down there. After about the fourth one, I said, man, I can't do this no more, man. I ain't for, I ain't served four years in the military. Just to come out just and, to come back and live in those 200 in <laughs> heavy ass boxes, yo. Heavy ass boxes. That's what FedEx asks you when you fill out the application. Can you lift 75 pounds or more? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, if it's a woman. I ain't living no goddamn box. Oh, goddamn. man. <laughs> All right, so you could, so you said fuck that job. So what did yeah, you, yeah, you start doing after that? Well, uh, I can't say what I do for a living. Oh, okay. But just put like this, it's uh, keeping people safe. Keeping people safe. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's keeping people. He's safe. security. He's security. Something like that. Either Something that or like a hitman. <laughs> <laughs> well, my actual job title is a uh, EMS specialist. So I'm an environmental e M management specialist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And MFS. No, EMS. EMS. Environmental management okay. Specialist. Okay, that's what you do? But I've been wanting to be an entrepreneur, man, pretty much ever since I got out the military. 
Okay, and uh, so these are your products right here. Tell everybody what you got right here. Okay, well, Because he's been so eager to promote these products right here. Man. That smell good right there. Go on, introduce that first right, right well, there. Well, this one is uh, essential oil mixture, pest control. This one right here, the eight ounce, it works on flies as well. So it's a mixture of three essential oils and one Dr. Bonner's uh, soap. And when I tell you this, how did it smell when I hit the room? Oh, it smelled good. He sprayed it when it first came in here. <laughs> it smelled good. I had already sprayed some air freshener, you know what I'm saying, before he came in. Now he just came in, just wiped all my little stuff now, out of here. It's rather potent now. Mm -hmm. So I usually, when people buy it, I usually tell them, after it gets about right here, just add more water, shake it up real good. What about roaches? You know, black folks got roaches. I got a video of it killing a wasp on my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And Cat was like, no, you got some poison in it. Well, I breed dogs. OK, you breed and dogs, too. I hustle. Always, always hustle. My uncle told me a long time ago, if a man don't have at least four to five strings of income coming inside the household, can I curse? Yeah, you can curse, man. He's a piece of shit. Damn. Because his job is to ensure that his pack is taken care of. OK, now let me see how many. Let me make sure I ain't no piece of <laughs> shit. OK, OK, I got one. <laughs> Two, three. Okay, I'm good. You I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so you got a, a video showing that you're killing the wasp with killing that? Killing the wasp. Hit that joke about three times and it stretched them out. And plus, I use it in my backyard too. But the mixture I use for my backyard, it has peppers in it. Peppers. So the one for the inside, I don't put peppers in it because it could be rather caustic. And I don't want nobody choking out or passing out. Right. Are so, oh, you trying to kill me? So you said this right here to kill roaches? That's going to kill roaches, Black folk. bugs, ants. Mosquitoes, yeah. Roach, bed bugs? Bed, well, I don't know about bed bugs. He said he don't know about bed bugs. I, I had bed bugs before. I never had to deal with bed bugs Woo! before, even though we grew up in the projects. You, yeah. you know, I'm a comedian, so <laughs> being in and out of them hotel rooms, <laughs> nigga, you got to use this, uh, traps, Man. a new bed. A new, you really got to move out when you got them damn bed bugs or something else. OK. All right, so they kill everything. Now, what is this right here now? Now, the tea. Well, it's two things that I won't promote on the tea. That it's a detox, and it's been helping people deal with COVID. I won't say that. I won't go on. It, it won't do that to me. I'm just going to tell you what it does is it's going to eliminate mucus in your system. Okay. That's so you good. think about what mucus is. Sinus right. Sinus issues, colds. Right. It's going to boost your immune system. Okay. It's going to give you more energy. Okay. And it's going to help you sleep. It's 11 mixtures of all natural ingredients in this tea. Okay. The base of it is ginger. Elderberry and lavender. That. And what's the last one? Lavender. Okay. But it's also turmeric in it too. Uh, so I, I fuck when you, I fucks with turmeric. Exactly. And, exactly. And uh, ginger. Ginger is good ginger too. Ginger is outstanding. Ginger is also great for increased blood circulation. Everything. That hook. Increased blood circulation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 So get your libido <laughs> together too. So this uh, tea. What you drinking in the morning time? Well, I take it on Monday through Fridays. I take it. I got like a thirty-two ounce. Yeti that I take to work with me and I drink that throughout the day. But on the weekends, I drink two cups in the morning mm -hmm. and I'm good. Two cups in the morning. But I add, I get my sea moss from my girl Angie and uh, I add it to my tea every morning. And when I tell you, my energy level is, is, is outstanding. Okay. Uh, I'm sleeping a little bit better. I have, I have sleep apnea. Okay. So I'm sleeping a little bit better. Okay. But I don't like taking medications. I don't like taking opioids. Me I don't need, like taking pain pills. Me need, unless, you know what I'm saying, I just want to relax. Well, that's the only time I, I want to still, take. I'm still afraid to take them because I don't like the state <laughs> that they put me in. Oh, okay. Yeah. But listen, let me ask you a question. Every now and then, I'll pop one and drink me a beer. It's every every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But not every day. Not every day. Not every day. You cool if I plug a couple of people businesses on here? Yeah, you can. Uh, okay, what's the name of your uh, business? Well, actually, the T. Everybody was telling me to call it Mo, Mo T. Mo T. I haven't came up with a name. Mo Better T. Mo Better T. There we go. See, we just named it right here. <laughs> and let me Mo, just, better. Uh, Mo Better T. And what and about the, the uh, essential oils? Side? It's just essential oils mixture. We got to so get a name. Interior and exterior. Okay. Mo Better Pesticide. Oh, yeah. See? I'm trying. Indoor, yeah. outdoor. Come. Mo Better. Mo, Mo, Mo. Shit. Mo Better Pesticides. Indoor and outdoor. Because I got I got a little midget. She look like me, but she cute. Yeah. And she's That's a little girl. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm crazy about it, man. Yeah, crazy you can go and promote uh, somebody else's business. Who else's business you want right. to uh... Off the top of my head, I can't. Now, nah, listen, don't y'all get offended. I, I don't comedian Ambrose Jones. Yeah, he he Facebook and live over here. This is uh, Facebook. 
Uh, uh, y'all look me up, comedian Ambrose Jones. The Google for your next show. Three eight one one fun show. Look it up on Facebook. Roger that. Roger Instagram, that. Instagram, YouTube. All right. So my first hit is gonna be for Shango. Cause that's that's. I mean, that's like almost thirty years of history. Okay. Shout out Shango. So Shango Cook. I house the Miss South. My girl Terry Renee. She sells all natural creams and butters. Mm-hmm. Uh, goodness gracious. Jay Parham. If you need a fence put up, need a tow truck done, hit my man Jay Parham up. Okay. Goodness, there's so many. Uh, healthy Creations, Orange and B-Fly Davis. These salads, I'm just going to say this. Get one of them salmon salads. Okay. You're going to love it. You shout out to everybody. Um, shout out to my mama. Yeah, shout out to our mama. For having me. <laughs> uh, let's do Sip 901 for them lamb chops. Them lamb chops be on point. Okay. Uh, Who is that? Sip 901. Silk. Sip. S-I-P. Okay, Sip 901 got them lamb chops. Mr. Donald Parrish. With the auto detailing, right off Covington Pike and Raleigh Lagrange, he gonna take care of you. I need my and truck when I washed in the inside and out. My man has a beautiful spirit. Tell him most in. Oh no, don't tell him that because they're gonna okay. try to get a discount. Okay. And uh, you yeah, probably can't see this man. shirt too good. But one of my people's Landy, she hit me up with this shirt. I told her what I was looking for, uh-huh. and she's like, "Oh, Mo, I got you." So pretty much, all I was saying is. Everyone. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. Okay, dig that. And who got them shirts? Her name is Landy. Orlando. Uh-huh. She's on. Uh, she's on Facebook too. Okay. Shout out uh, to. Uh, hit my girl Tracy that. Hall up. She does mixed drinks, mixed fruity drinks. Uh, Marcia Hardrick. She's in uh, North Little Rock, Arkansas. She sells pretty much any type of apparel that you're looking for. She can get it for you. I'm trying. To, man, there's so many people. There's so many people. There's yeah. So, you know what? I can shout out a lot of people too, man. But you know what, Mo? We here talking about Mo today. With Mo Better, <laughs> Mo Better Tea, Mo Better uh, 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 Pesticides. You know oh, what I'm saying? and the dogs, too. I breed American Championship there you Bloodline go. American Akitas. Hold on. You I, breed Akitas? What? Don't play. Yes. The big the big one? Yes. What color are they? They pinto. Well, what I, color are they pinto? All right, so you got Brindle. Brindle, then the dog brown. Yeah, yeah. What's the pinto? The pinto is like, the, look, think about a cow or a giraffe, pretty much, yeah. They're lighter brown. Yeah. Because they only come in like two colors. They come right? in two colors. That's and a lot, about, a lot of people say, I'm going to say this. If you spend less than $1,200 for an Akita, you're wasting your money. So you breed American Akitas. American Akitas. That's them big jets. That's them look big like a, a wolf. Jokers. Yeah. You holler at any of my people that have been to the house. My main man, Akumu, mm-hmm. he got some issues he's working on. He don't play well mm-hmm. with other people. Yeah. But Man, what you doing with that bear in the backyard? Man, that ain't no bear. That's my baby. But he a big boy. He that big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got pictures of him on uh, yeah. Facebook? Yes, I do. We'll look, yes, go I to do. his page. What's your Facebook page so everybody it's, can It's uh, Mo Dig Steps They're going to camera Facebook. right there. Oh, my bad. It's Mo <laughs> Dig Steps on Facebook. And not just that, but I put a lot of my associates' business on my Facebook page, too. Okay, so Mo Dig Steps. Mo, Mo Dig Steps? S-T-E-P-P-E-S. Okay. All right, Steps. Mo yeah. Dig Steps on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you breed. How long have you been breeding American Keters? On or off the records? Just, I just, I don't know. All together. Since 2004. Okay. Oh, wait. Speaking of that, hit my man Jock up, Allegiance K9. <laughs> He's right off American Way, too. Allegiance K9, uh-huh. basic obedience, advanced obedience, and personal protection training. Hit my man Jock up. He's he been, he been training dogs since he could walk. You know what? While we shouting out everybody, Mo, that's good, man. You shouting out all your, uh, your black entrepreneurs and supporting them as well on this show, man. Shout out to the owner of this building, Patrick Newman. Okay. With uh, R.P. Newman Realty. Mr. Uh, Newman. He's the owner of this building. You looking for a suite for your business? Okay. Y'all hit, hit up Antoinette Thomas on Facebook. She going to make sure she take care of you. They're my high school people, man. Okay. Yeah, and it's all yeah. about keeping the money. And keep, in the, keep the black dollar in the black community it, circulating. Because exactly, exactly. it only lasts in our community about Not an long. hour or two. So, yeah, we're going to make sure we keep the black dollar circulating, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Patrick Newman, hit up Antoinette Morris. If y'all looking for a suite for your businesses, they also got apartments, houses. God damn it, they got everything, man. Hit up Antoinette Thomas on Facebook. What you saying? They're going to serve the need. They will serve the need. They got they real big in the real estate industry here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, that's what's up. That's right, well, I, man. I got so, a confession to make too, though. I've never did anything like this. I was kind of nervous, so yeah. I called one of my partners, and I was like, "Yo, I ain't, I've never did anything like this. I don't know what to say. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Shout out all your homeboys." <laughs> <laughs> so the American Keaters, man. Uh, you got some uh, puppies available now? November. Well, I don't breed until they're two years old. Okay. So I have Star. 
she's off of Kumo and Grace. I breed her in November. She'll be two. Okay. And then my big my big girl, the one I Badu, she'll be two in January. Mm -hmm. So after I get the OFA IFA certifications, then I breed. They come with the papers in there, don't they? No, 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 no. I mean they come with the papers, right. but it's a difference between full breeding rights and no breeding rights. So in Memphis, I would never sell one of my puppies with full breeding rights. Okay, why is that? Everybody not stand up. So what I mean by that is, let's say you purchase a puppy from me and you want to breed. Mm -hmm. Well, one, I need to know a little bit more about you. This something because I'm I'm kind of passionate when I say yeah, this, right, I'm passionate right, about right. this. Right, you're so, passionate about your babies. So when a person you don't want nobody just breeding your babies because you don't know if they're gonna take care of them. You don't know if they're gonna feed them right. If they're gonna be chained up in the backyard, they're gonna get their shots when they get their shots. They get their trifectas when they get their trifectas. Mm -hmm. Don't be putting no garbage in their food. Mm -hmm. They gotta. I put it like this. You, I treat my dogs. All my dogs are spoiled. Okay. All of them. Even Akumu, even though Akumu got some anger issues he's working on. Right. But all my dogs are spoiled. They are greatly taken care of. They're fed. They fast on Sunday. So what does that mean? That means you so, don't feed them on Sunday. I don't feed my dogs on Sundays. And I'm like, why you don't feed your dogs on Sunday? If I do, I'm going to give them a carrot. Yeah. Or I'll give them a banana. One carrot or a banana. One carrot or a banana. What about That's water? It. Oh, yeah. They're going to get water all day. But no food. But no food on Sunday. Like today. They looking at me crazy. Do y'all know the routine? No, you don't eat today. Come here, give me a hug. I'll see so, y'all later. So you make your dogs fast, same reason why we fast? Same reason why we should fast. Why we should fast, where well, we most don't. Don't, but mm -hmm. why, we, why we should fast. Oh, wait, I forget. I got one more. One more. Go on, shout him out. Roger Wright with God Body Fitness. <laughs> Check my man out. He going to okay. get you squared away. Okay. All right, I'm done hitting everybody. Yeah, that's good, <laughs> man. That's good. Shout out to black people. Uh, so, yeah, you make your dogs fast. I make my dogs fast on Sundays. So it does the same thing for them as it does for us? Yes. Wow. And I, and I give my dogs veggies, too. Give your dogs vegetables? Yeah, my dogs eat vegetables. Do you cook your food for the dogs? Well, you know? when I do the rice, I will. So I do rice, broccoli. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh -huh. Rice, broccoli, sweet potatoes. Another thing that's good for your dog, too, believe it or not, pup, pumpkin paste. Let's say your stomach having uh, stomach issues. Hit them with some pumpkin paste. Mix that pumpkin paste in with their food. Pumpkin you, paste? Pumpkin paste. Never Just like heard. you would make a pumpkin, a pumpkin pie? Yeah. Get that pumpkin paste and let them eat that. I give my dogs flaxseed every day. Well, not every day, because on Sundays they fast. But, yeah, flaxseed. You put that in their food, too? Yes. I mean, take care of his dog. My dogs eat better than most humans. Wow. I'm just telling the truth. They, they do. When that next uh, batch going to be ready? Well, she'll breed. i breed in November after I get that hip and elbow certification. Mm -hmm. And then after that, she'll be coming in heat probably, probably the third week in November. So you figure between 58 and 60 days, right? She gonna have to hold it. Then no, no, don't nobody get a puppy from me until they're nine weeks old. Okay, not six weeks, cause you know most dudes say they pit bull puppies yeah, that's, at that's six what weeks. That's what I'm talking about. They, they don't get them until they're nine weeks old. So the pit bull puppies, you know what I'm saying? Open so their eyes, they already they putting them out for sale. Cause I don't, I usually don't even list them on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, AKC Marketplace until they're seven weeks old, so people can actually see how they're gonna look. Okay. Yeah. We got to go on his page. Look at these American Kitas. Man, hey, I'm going to tell you this. My man, when I tell you these are Kitas, great personal protection, great home security. They like cats, so they're not dirty dogs. They're not no stinky dogs. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do all this barking that a lot of other people's dogs are doing. Right. They finna just handle the business. And I'm just going to tell you this. A male Akita will put a 300-pound man on his back and keep shaking him until he stops moving. Wow. Dead serious. A full grown Akita? A full grown Akita. My boy Akuma with it before. And he's a beast. His paw is bigger than my face almost. Man. Yeah. Okay. And I, and I love him. Spoiled riding though. Dig that. <laughs> this man got about 12 different hustles. <laughs> he got Mo Better Pesticide and Mo Better Tea, Detox Tea. And actually, the good thing about this tea, the, I'm going to tell you the reason why I started researching all the ingredients that I have in here. I've had a. Uh, Stomach surgery, I thought I had cancer. Okay. Uh, I've had three heart attacks. I deal with migraine issues, but all this is related to volunteering for this country. That don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't going to say nothing about that, though. Yeah. So yeah. instead of taking all that medication that the VA kept sending me, I was like, man, let me research what can I do to, yeah. to make my body stronger. Did the same exact thing. Yeah. So when you think about it, we're carbon-based. Right. So what do you sharpen carbon with? 
with, with minerals and roots. There you go. Well, say I'm that gonna, again. Because I'm going to tell you. So we don't, our body don't need vitamins. It needs minerals. Exactly. It needs minerals and roots. Right. So okay. I, I changed my diet. I was about 250 pounds because mm -hmm. I was on steroids and a lot of other stuff. That would blow you up from steroids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 birth control. That's why women. Blow up so big. Blow up. They be trying, why I'm getting so big? It's them steroids. Yep, yeah. So between steroids, changing my yep. diet, get so your plump. I don't eat no pork. Now, I can't go strictly vegan, because I ain't gonna lie, I love some lamb chops. I feel you, because uh, you lay off that pork and beef. I did the same thing oh, when yeah. they told me I had high cholesterol. I laid off that pork and beef. Now, if somebody barbecue, I still grab a rib. <laughs> I ain't no Muslim <laughs> now, but I still grab a bone or two, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. beef, I don't eat beef. Yeah. Yeah, every now and then I might grab but Sugar. Dairy products. You cut that all that out. Bread. Yeah. I love bread now. I, 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 I had to leave it alone. Because I want to look out like this. The life expectancy, especially for law enforcement, military, or people with bad health, let's say you retire at 68 or 72. You probably gonna live three more years. Damn. So you already have pre-existing conditions. That's a setup. It's a setup. You work this it's, job all them goddamn years, and then, then you retire. retire. You got only three, four years. That's it. That's it. Man. <laughs> oh, man. So you started doing research. I started doing research. I was sitting in the bed. I smoke too. Now, I ain't going to lie. I love my whiskey and bourbon. I'm still going to uh, Okay. I'm, I'm with you. I'm drink. with you. I'm, I'm still, still going to drink see, my whiskey and bourbon. You know what? You got to cut out some other shit. It's going to be meat or alcohol. He said, shit, I, I, I cut that I meat. I cut that meat out. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just laughs> all the same way. Like, hey, bro, you going to cut pork or beef out or you going to cut alcohol out? I'm like, you know what? I drink plenty of water and cut uh, uh, pork and beef out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I drink plenty of water, but I love you my alcohol what? in my beard now. Let me do this. Let me slide this over here because yeah. this keep falling. My alcohol in my beard now, you know, I got to drink that every now and then. Gotta but I make sure I drink plenty of water, too. Got to have that whiskey. Got to have that whiskey. Got to have that. <laughs> now, listen, let me ask you a question. Because my guy Price, he always hit me up talking about, Mo, when you going to do another set? I said, man, I can't do another set in Memphis. Mm -hmm. If I do do one next year, of course. Yeah. I want to book you. Man, come on then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. can work most that definitely, out. Most definitely. Because like I told you earlier, I used to throw parties in Memphis. You used to throw parties in Memphis. Back yeah, back that, that used to be a party promoter. But If you ain't got more than four hustles, <laughs> you ain't, what's your daddy say? You ain't shit. You ain't shit. <laughs> but you got to know how to manage your money too. Yeah. Because you can be hustling backwards. There you go. The job isn't to hustle backwards. It's to put yourself in a better situation and the people in your pack in a better situation. All right. And, and, well, a lot of my people that, that, I, that I talk to on a daily, they know how I think. I don't look at friends or family. I look at a pack of wolves. Okay. And, and when I say that, the pack of wolves, no matter what your job is, how big or small your job is, as long as you're contributing to the pack, you are essential. Okay. Everybody eat. How you going to eat if you don't hunt? There you go. Yeah. Everybody got a role to play. I'm still nervous, though. I'm just going to tell you. No, you cool. You're doing a, you're doing a good job, man. So uh, you say you had underlying health issues. Yeah. And you started doing your research. I started doing my what research. You find, what uh, mineral you found out first about? I'm just going to tell you, Iris sea moss, man. Iris sea moss, man. Iris sea moss is probably one of the best minerals you can put in your system. It's Burdock a, root. It's an algae but, that comes out of the ocean. Yeah. Sea moss. Yeah. I tried sour sop, but uh, I, can't get I can't get past that taste. Where you get that fruit? Where you get that sour sop fruit from? International Farmers Market. Off of, uh, well, I go to the one on Germantown Parkway. They got sour sop? Yeah, they got the sour The actual fruit? The actual fruit. I didn't I, know that. I, I shopped there. I can't get past that taste, yo. It, it, but it's really good it's for good you. It's good for you. Really Just like good. that castor oil. Castor. My mama used to make us taste. Yeah, when we used to. Man, yeah. I couldn't get past that taste either. Okay, I see. And what else, what's, the, what's the second mineral you ran across? Ginger. Ginger, 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 they sell that in the store. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you something else a lot of people don't know is lavender is great for anxiety. I didn't know you can take lavender. Yes, it's, it's, it's lavender. How you can it, take lavender? You get the bee. Okay, lavender is a, is, a, is a plant, flower pretty much. Okay, So they, I always see it in the oil. Yeah, no, 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 you can get the, the lavender. The plant. The plant. Okay. And steep it in some tea. Okay. And then not just that, but if you did, well, my most issue is it's bone on bone. It's not ligament issues. Right. Well, other than this one, the AC, but it's bone on bone. It's not going to do anything. But the only thing that helped me with that is I, I got to get that whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, uh, sea moss was the first one you discovered. Sea moss. Burdock root. Burdock root. That's another yeah. one. Yeah, the bladder rack. Bladder rack. Ginger, another. Turmeric. Uh-huh. Oh, 
man, it's it's the ones that I take on the regular. I was doing uh damn, I can't even get it off the back of my head. Black black seed oil, cold pressed black seed oil, mm -hmm. black maca. Pretty much I was trying to increase my blood circulation. That's right. Because I thought what I had was a blockage issue, mm -hmm. but it's not a blockage issue. It's an electrical issue. Right. So for everybody that's walking around and you have a hard time breathing or something, put spicy roots. Add spicy roots to your to your diet. Because what that spice is going to do, it's going to exact open it up. It's going to open your lungs up. If you had blood circulation issues, as nasty as beets are, and I got a friend, she had juiced me some beets. I fuck with beets. Oh, man, that's horrible. I can't do it. I fuck with beets. But the beets, red fruits and veggies will help increase your blood circulation. Anything with color, too. Any, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I've been trying to find some black garlic. Oh, I didn't know they had that. Yeah. Black I've been trying garlic? to find black garlic. I'm going to tell you where I first got on that uh, ginger root. I used to work at this warehouse, and this uh, African used to walk around just... Eating. Just eating it. Yeah. I was like, man, what the hell are you eating on? He was like, man, this is a ginger right here. We eat on this, you know, when we have a cold, you know, boost your, immune, boost your system. immune system. Boost your immune system, eliminate that mucus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where I first got on garlic at, man. Because, you know, I'm a pharmacy tech. Okay. So uh, I went to school and I learned a lot about modern medi yeah. medication. But, but that's I what's never did. Us, though. I never did like taking, uh, you know, pills and stuff like that. So uh, I, one time I went to the doctor and he told me my blood pressure was... They ran a test on me, and uh, he called me. He was like, hey, Mr. Jones, you know, your blood pressure is the rate of a 50-year-old. We're going to send you some medicine, blah, 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 you know, Walgreens. You know, I went to go get that high blood pressure yeah. medicine and started taking it. I didn't like the way it made me made feel. feel. So I was like, man, I was like, fuck this. So I had an accident shortly after, and I went to a, a chiropractor, and I told him what my blood pressure was. I can't remember what it was at the time. Yeah. And he was like, oh, man, that ain't. That ain't that much. You can just drink plenty of water to, to get, get that, that down. Out. And so I was like, okay, from there, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take this medication. I'm going to just make sure I drink plenty of water, exercise, and I start doing my research on... On sea moss, bladder rat. You know what I'm saying? Roots and shit like that. You know, medicine that come from the ground yeah. that we supposed because to... Because I'm going to tell you, what, what did he say? He said, everything that you need, I'll put in the ground to not treat but cure whatever your illness yeah. is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I uh, got, this is uh, this is my Immortal Urge. This is by me, man, comedian Ambrose Jones right okay. here. This is uh, this is the sea moss and burdock root. So you take that sea moss and that burdock root and uh, combine it and let it soak in 80 proof vodka mm -hmm. for six weeks. You shake it every day, and that alcohol just extracts everything. This is mine right well, let me here. Ask you, how much let me show you how it looks. Let me show you how it looks. Look at that. And you... Take two dropping fluids under your tongue and your salivary glands, take it straight to your bloodstream. So you take it sublingually. To put it under your tongue, hold it there for 90 seconds, swallow the rest, go straight to your bloodstream so it's instantly. Oh, yeah. And man, it, it's good, man. It's good for your libido. I haven't been sick, none during this COVID 19. You know what? That's the same like me. <laughs> That's like a lot of times. When your I, libido? For that hook. For that hook. That's what you call <laughs> it. For that call hook. It. I call it that hook. You can get these at uh, Comedian Ambrose Jones. These right here, 20 and at least the two ounce bottles. Then I got the uh, one ounce bottles for 10. Well, I want to get one of the, the big, big ones. ones. Okay, and yeah. I'm cash after you. As soon as yeah, and I'm going to get one of these. No, no, no. That's on the house. Okay, I'm going to get one of these right here. The, actually, the tea and the. Spray it's on the, house. on the house. It's on the house. Man, where well, I got to get. Uh, you know what? You gave because me something one, on the house. Because you, you, you give me a solid right now. Yeah. So, Comedian ever? Okay, okay. Well, I charge you for these then. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what we call networking. Okay, call and this, networking. this right here is also my uh, comedy special. It's called Say It Louder. It's on a one gigabyte USB drive. When the last time you seen that? Uh, you ain't seen that. I ain't seen one of them. My minutes. comedy special, it's a 45 minute comedy special on here, and a 15 minute documentary. That's me and my son on the front. Okay. Say it loud. That's on my website, comedianambrose.com, man. And uh, yeah, that's what the 3811 Fuss Show is, man. Just support, you know what I'm saying, influential, positive people here in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and if y'all want, if y'all got a business, y'all want to promote, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, I try to get you in uh, as soon as possible, man. You oh, know, yeah. this is for us, man, you know. Because ain't nobody gonna do it for us. Ain't nobody gonna do it for us. Ain't you nobody know? gonna do it for us. You know, in three eight one one four, that's the area code that I have stayed in majority of my life here in Memphis, okay. man. So that's why I call it three eight one one four show. Okay, cool, cool. Yep, man. Mo, appreciate you, man. man I appreciate you, man. Uh, make sure they got you. Uh, you got a website. Make sure they uh, got I, your Facebook and all that info. I don't have a website yet, but my girl Leah Long Williamson, mm -hmm. she gonna be. She 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 already told me. She's like, baby, when you ready, just let me know. 
Lil Long, she Lil gonna hook Long. you up with the website? Oh yeah, yeah. She does graphic designs, she paint. She just put it like this. She's a jack of all trades. She's a jack. Is she single? No, she's not okay, single. Okay, okay. I just Lil is not single. Asking. That's okay. my people and she with right. my she with she's my man. She's happily married. She's happily All right now. <laughs> <laughs> We about to get in trouble. Hey, she gonna I'm, be calling me Mo. Don't you trying to give me no hookup? I'm looking for a hustler, a woman that's a hustler. But okay, she's married. So uh, congratulations to you, Leah, and a wonderful husband. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. We show support. We don't mess with no married folks now. Yeah, salute to them. And uh, so your website again. Make sure they got that. It's uh Facebook Mo Dig Steps on Facebook and Mo Dig Steps on Instagram. I'm standing by for the website because I'm trying to make a couple of. Pretty much, I, want, I don't want to go and get a website and it's not solid. Right. Like I want it. And you want to make sure you got everything on the dogs, the Akita. on that one website. The Mo Better herbs, the Mo Better pesticides, the Mo Better tea on there, everything. And not just that, but I'm also going to plug people I know business on the website. There too. you go, man. He good at promoting I, I, everybody, I, man. You, That's you, good. You got to. I, I put it to you like this. Let's say you have a group of friends and the group of friends all have a business. Mm -hmm. But you go into a room with influential and the people that can either help them get finances for a loan mm -hmm. or lead them in a better direction. If they're not promoting your business, they are not your friend. There you go. And I mean that dead seriously. Shout out to the Black Owned Comedy Club here in Memphis, Chuckles Comedy House. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. Them my folks, Prescott, Mike Ware. Them my people over there. Y'all make sure y'all support Chuckles Comedy House. Black Owned, man. Oh, Everything yeah. Black Owned. Not, not just the Black Owned, too. Well, we support everybody, yeah, but yeah. first, make but sure y'all spend us. that dollar. Like my man Fubu used to say, for us by us. For us by us. But we got to get the us. First. We got to get the us together. Or somewhere down the line, we got lost. We, man. We got lost. We did. We did. We got to come back together. Got to. And unite. So what you think about this COVID thing? You think the COVID thing is real, man? I'm a conspiracy theorist. Do you really want that answer? Uh, yeah, man, because I'm, I'm too. I am too, goddamn Whatever that is, but well, I, I don't believe this. the bullshit. But. I, I know a lot of people are dying from this, but I'm going to put it to you like this. The government, which is controlled and ran by the Vatican Church. Well, who church? The Vatican Church. The Vatican Church. Yeah. They use tests to see how people want to respond. And one of the best ways to do that is to put fear into them. Mm. So once you instill fear in them, you can better control them. Mm. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Mm. But if you're feeling sick, isolate yourself. Uh, if you have small children or an elderly in the household that have uh, pre-existing conditions, isolate yourself, sanitize, wash your hands. Boost your immune system. Boost your immune system. Get some of Ambrose Irish Sea Moss. That's right. Get some of my immortal herbs. Get some of that tea. Boost your but, immune system. That's one thing they don't tell you. Take care of yourself. You know what I heard too, so though? What? They said if you drink brown whiskey, you won't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just playing. Okay. I'm just joking on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what you feel about. Yeah. So yeah. if you inject fear in people, you can control them. You gonna better. control them. So that's like if a woman is a, if a man is is uh, physically abusing a woman, he put fear in her first. That way he can control. Is that what you're saying? Well, one, any man that put his hands on. A woman I know he's a weak he's ass. A he's a weak ass dude. But yeah. I'm saying that's the same that's, scenario. That's the same scenario. You put fear in them, you and then control. you can control. Yeah. Wow. So Churches I, do the same thing. They, they do. And the crazy thing you say that because I was brought up in an abusive household, and one of my biggest thing is always to protect the women in my pack. So if I hear something about somebody putting their hands on one of the shorties in my pack, I got about six hitters. I can't. Never mind. Well, he gonna, yeah. He's going to get a quick understanding. <laughs> he's he going to get a quick understanding. Just say you can make a call. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. right. That's what you're supposed to That's do. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to protect our women. There's too many of these dudes that claim to be a man mm. walking around false flagging what a man's supposed to be. And, and, and that's, that's that on that. Protect your people. Yeah. And most certainly protect your pack. And my cats that know me, they know how I am. I, no yeah. nonsense. That's how, this somebody you want on your team right here. So I got his number. I'm glad I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I know Mo. Mo, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, but it's conversation you can't have over the phone. Oh, yeah, you can't. meet in person? Yeah, you meet in person. Not yeah. over no cell phone. Man. Yeah. But it's good to have people like that. Because if you call me, I ain't finna just come running like that. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, bro, you call me, I'm gonna ask you, what did you do? I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story, right? One of my partners, this was a, this was a while ago. <laughs> what did you do? Well, me, I try to stay out the way. I no, always treat people No, I'm just saying, if somebody called me and be like, hey, hey, bro, come, come do this, come do that. I'm like, what did you do first? <laughs> 
<laughs> and tell you, and tell you don't do it no more. Yeah, and that's how you can prevent that from happening again. But go ahead. Yeah, go but, ahead uh, with this one of my guys hit me up. He had an issue going on. Uh-huh. And I kind of already knew he wasn't, he not a, he's not a warrior. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's good with this, but he's, he's not a oh, warrior. Oh, see, he shouldn't be good with so that if he ain't good. my thing was, just having a child, don't make me do something that we can't come back there from. There you go. Because once it's done, you can't take it back. If it ain't all that serious, and don't. If, it, if it's over some money, man, you're going to get that money back. Right. If right. it's over a woman, hell, she didn't want your ass anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just plain and simple. But right. he hit me up, man, about 12 o'clock at night, and I got, I got some severe protection issues. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting my girlfriends ready, putting my bag in there. I sat down and thought about it for a minute. Would he do the same for me? There you go. Man, I got my ass back in the bed. There you go. Woke up the next day, checked on him, see what he was doing. He was oh, all right. Man, he's still with him drinking. Mm. Don't see? call me no more, man. See? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't call me there no more. There you go. Smart man right here. He's smart, too. Yeah, he ain't it's, just it's, finna just jump out there. Oh, no. no. Got too much you, to lose. Too much to lose, man. Especially now. I'm three years to retirement. There so you that's go. That's going to give me 21 plus 4. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to try to. And you got people. all your business, yeah. man. So but that's good. That, but I'm trying to help other people eat too. And then that's the biggest thing, I'm man. To help helping other everybody. Eat. He didn't just shout it out about a hundred people. But you can't help everybody eat though. A lot of these jokers, they just want to leech off of you. You, you got to be real selective. There you go. Who you helping eat? There you go. So you a conspiracy? You don't believe in the in the uh, in the COVID nineteen? Well, I'm putting you like this: the flu is killing people. They kill, uh, that, the regular flu kill 100,000 people yeah. every year, any guy. Diabetes is killing people. Thank you. High blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you are still fearing the people. You can control them. That's just like right now. And that COVID it. scared the yeah, shit out yeah, of yeah, it. These people now still scared to come out the house. Well, I don't have a choice. I got to go to work. Thank you. Well, you look at it like this. November elections. Just think about what's going on with the post office. So mm -hmm. it's all these issues with the post office going on. Mail-in ballots is being brought up. Mm -hmm. You can still fear them. You can better control them. People won't want to go out and vote. They're going to try to mail their ballots in. But if the post office is having issues delivering Thank mail, what's, what's going to happen? Do, hold on. Hold on, Mo. Do you believe in voting? Do I believe in voting? You're a military man, History right? History-wise, I'm going to tell you this. You're a military man, the right? The electoral college choose your president. Not the people, the electoral college. <laughs> did your research on electoral college, and then you have a bunch of standards. Now I'm hear a lot of people talking about, man, how you gonna say that? it's the truth? Do your research. Right. The electoral college choose your president. You can win the popular vote, but the electoral colleges and these delegations in like Maine, Massachusetts, they're gonna choose who your next. So no president matter how is. many votes these these the Republican or the uh, Democrat have, the electoral, the electoral college is gonna is gonna. Pick your no matter how many votes they got. No. So they big Trump. They voted for Trump. They yeah. Well, it, this was already staged. Cause one yeah, I knew get, that. Was... You go back to Obama. They was already prepping Obama years before he that was, was even a, nominated. That was a pacifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and We're going to get him. Yeah, we him. Get him. Wait till y'all see who we got after him, though. But they all did the same thing. They did nothing for the black community. Nothing, nothing at, all. at all. But, you know, a lot of people don't want him. No, he did. He did something for the LGBT. Well, I can't talk about that. Okay, I'm, I'm but I'm just up. saying he did something. We just, that's fact. It's, so we, it's, they it's, can't it's get mad that he did true. something for them, the Mexicans, everybody else. But but yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But yeah. Ooh, goodness gracious! You talking about some comedy? <laughs> I don't say that's that. what I'm saying. But this is the shit that we we talk about, man. History like, and research is a beautiful thing. Research the Crusade eras to get a better understanding of who your owners are. Hmm. And when I say owners, a lot of people are like, what do you mean? I'm not a slave. You got a social security number? Yeah. You pay taxes? Yeah. We all slaves. <laughs> They've been fucking us for years. Man. <laughs> but it's a conversation that you can't have because first thing a person want to do is, oh. You don't man, know what you're talking you about? You don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I research. Yeah, I know about all that. Yeah, it, 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 and it's comical. You know what they say, if you if, if you want if you want black people, if you want to keep something away from us, put it in a book. Yeah, put them in a book. But now they don't even do that. They distract us by these walking devices and the video games. And diseases. And diseases. COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel you, man. Well, uh, get them your social media info one more time, man. Thank you for coming through, brother. All uh, right. You can find me on Facebook under Mo Dig Steps. So Mo Dig, that's M-O-D-I-G? Yeah, M-O-D-I-G-G-S. D-I-G-G. S-T-E-P-P-E-S. -E -E okay. Mo and I usually step. steep, well, since I've been getting hit with extra orders for the tea, I usually steep every two weeks. Look like I'm going to have to start steeping every week now. 
And with the essential oils, I already got it hooked up. All I got to do is put it in the containers, and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, and you're on Instagram, too? Yeah, I'm on Instagram up under Mo Diggs, too. Okay. And before we get out of here, man, i just like every guest to say, you know, thank you for tuning in. This is the 3811 Fuss Show. Man, appreciate you, appreciate no, you, we, man. No, we got to say it together. Oh, okay, let's thank, go. Thank you for tuning in. And this is the 3811 Fuss Show. Yeah, fuss show. Fuss show. You know, add a little slang to it. You know, fuss show. I, I failed the fifth grade five times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in. This is the 3811 Fuss show. show. Yeah, I'm comedian Ambro Jones. Thank you for coming through, brother. Man, much love, baby. Man, much love. great interview, man. Great interview. Man, I appreciate you, man. No doubt. Appreciate no doubt. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me turn this up.